Good evening. Tonight we're taking a look at Gunship 3, the air combat simulation. First up, we're going to take a look at a helo. We're going to fly around and monkey about in a helo. And then we're going to fly later an A1 Sky Raider. So get ready, hold on to your hats, and enjoy the ride. This is very similar to the uh, previous game I checked out, the uh, World War II Wings of Duty. In fact, I believe the same developers made this one. In fact, I believe they're the ones who contacted me and mentioned this game to me. And I thank them for that because this is another interesting game. There's a bunch of different helos and uh, planes in this, although uh, most of the planes you have to pay to unlock. Uh, there's one helo that you can unlock for free by just liking them on Facebook. And so we unlocked the uh, Chinook by liking this game on Facebook. And uh, now we're loading. I didn't cut out any of this loading. Uh, it's not unbearable, but it is a bit long waiting for the game to load. And then they give you clearance to take off. So here we go, waiting and waiting and waiting. Okay, we're getting closer. Even closer. I'm sorry if this uh, annoys you that I don't let it get right in, but I like people to see how long they gotta wait for the meat of the game to appear. Waiting for clearance, please stand by. This is very important. The first time I tried it, I wound up uh, re spawning upside down in the helicopter. So uh, definitely hold your device level. <laughs> and we spawn in the cockpit view and we can change the view by clicking that little button in the left bottom corner. And taking off is relatively simple. And let's try to fly to a waypoint. And the controls are very similar. You tilt left and right to bank left and right. You tilt forward to go forward. Tilt back to uh, stop and or go in reverse. You can change the views. Again, very similar to the World War II Wings of Duty. And the uh, pleasant control. The same throttle on the left there with the uh, upward pointing arrows. And uh, the graphics are pretty good. The only thing is uh, a little slow to get to where you're going. But this is just a, a basic uh, trial so it's not that big a deal. And so we're flying over the jungle. Uh, this is Vietnam era. And you can change the way things look. You can scroll around on the screen and change the view. I actually don't like the cockpit view. I kind of like the third person view better. But as uh, you see, you can change to whichever view you desire. And. Uh, banking hard here. I don't know if I could actually do this in a real Chinook without falling out of the sky, but in this one I'm able to do that uh, incredibly steep bank. And now all the waypoints are in front of me, relatively. And we'll fly towards one, closest one of course just so you can get an idea of what it looks like. Oh boy, I'm upside down. I don't know if I could do that either. We have real Chinook. And uh, even given a chance, I don't think I would try it because I like living. <laughs> so anyway, oh boy, there's the runway that I just took off from, so I've been flying in the wrong direction for a while. But you get the idea going to cut here and speed it up because it's a little over long 
just to get to where we're going. And we cut quite a bit of our uh, flight out because it's kind of boring. You didn't need to see me just flying over jungle. It, nothing actually happened. So uh, it would have been about as exciting as watching paint dry. So in a minute, we're going to switch over to the uh, A1 Sky Raider and give you a look at that. And uh, I'm going to land here in a second. Maybe four, six, you know, eventually. There's the town or LZ in front of me. I don't quite make it, but you get the idea. So we'll be right back. Hang on. And now we're going to take a look at the A1 Sky Raider, which is the precursor to the A10 Warthog, which is a tank buster. There's a, still a prop plane used in a jet fighter era, World War II. Oh, pardon me, the Vietnam War or Vietnam conflict, depending on who you talk to. So again, we got to wait for it to load. It's a little quicker, quicker this time. Waiting for clearance, please stand by. And again, hold your device at level flight position and tap anywhere to continue. Ramp up our throttle on the left and the cockpit in the uh, plane is less annoying than the helicopter. And we're in the air. Taking off with this plane was relatively painless. We have uh, a fair number of weapons in this. From uh, bombs of different varieties to a 20mm autocannon. And we can also uh, click on the drop tank to jettison the drop tank once we get low on fuel. Because by then the drop tank will be empty once we're low on fuel. So it'll save us a bit of weight and lugging around a useless piece of equipment. Although it was probably a small fortune of taxpayers' dollars. Shh, don't tell anybody that. But flying this plane is a dream. It's very easy to, to maneuver this plane. It, it's, it doesn't get crazy. Uh, it's very simple to control. In fact, I, I find it easier to control than the um, P-35, I think it was, that I was flying in World War II Wings of Duty. So, uh, I think this game using this plane would make for uh, a little easier control for dogfights. Although the jets would probably eat my lunch with their lock and on the uh, missiles. Once they get a missile lock, I'm probably toast. Probably couldn't even outrun it. Probably could it take a few hits if it's anything like the A-10 Warthog though. The Warthog is uh, quite well armored from what I understand. So we're just flying around here heading towards that waypoint in front of us and I guess we'll look at different views just to keep this from putting me to sleep. And what do we got in front of us? I believe it's a fuel depot. And that's a friendly fuel depot, I believe. Although I think I'll open fire on it just for giggles. Let's go up a bit so I can make my run. And dive down. And I probably should have zoomed in on the screen, which is interesting that you can do. But right over this hill it should be. And we still can't see it, but oh, there we go. Opening fire. And there it is in front of us. Doesn't look like I hit anything, but that's not unusual. <laughs> so anyway, let's fly to another waypoint. And as you can see, it's pretty easy, pretty maneuverable plane. Doesn't... Uh, get hairy at all 
controlling it. Uh, hopefully there's some enemies at the other waypoint that I'm flying to now. Because f firing on a uh, friendly position kind of frowned on. But, you know, this is just a game. And it's just training here. I'm in a training session with the A1 Sky Raider. And we're getting closer. Uh, I'll probably drop the throttle a bit. Oh, it's a nice view. Oh, I should have left it as it flew past. But we're continuing on, getting closer and closer. It's almost like a hypnotic suggestion. And we're getting closer and closer. And you're going deeper and deeper into enemy territory. And now sleep. <laughs> yes, I've taken hypnosis classes. But anyway, eventually we will get there. And uh, yes, I know this is a rather long video. But I'm enjoying flying this plane. In fact, I enjoy, I'm enjoying flying this uh, A1 much more than flying the helicopter. Okay, we're getting close because something popped up on our screen there and it's gone there we go we have a ground target let's make sure we got uh, bombs maybe we can bomb it should have really throttled back some more so I don't overshoot It'd be nice if there was a uh, bomb site to use instead of just the crosshairs for the gun but okay we're dropping some bombs I don't think we actually hit anything with the bombs. And we'll uh, do kind of an Immelman and uh, pull up and loop over and back towards the target. Throw the guns on this time, maybe. Or maybe we'll just use uh, the rest of our bombs. Let's see what I decide. Oh, no, let's go with the guns. And uh, I don't see any hit markers. They're firing back at me, though, that's for sure. And that's about it. Have a good night. Onagi Wahi.